I'm so sorry, but this is a song I keep listening to it, and the more and more I listen to it, the deeper in love I fall in with it. If that makes any sense, if it doesn't make sense, unsubscribe. Please don't. I was just joking. It was a joke. I'll be hurt. Don't do it. It's Sean C and we're back in here with another video. I'm gonna stop doing my intros like that. It just sounds so cringy. We're back in here with another video. Obviously it's another video, you idiot. Let's say I'm I'm here to fuck. Does the double XL freshman cover even matter anymore? And my opinion is it doesn't. I don't feel like it does anything for the artists that are featured on it. I don't feel like it does anything for the people that go on the platform. Uh, if anything, I feel like the most that it does is give people uh, a new expression or a new expressive tool to release some really crappy music. I think the Double XL Freshman cover is nice or was nice at a time. There was a lot of people that have been on it. You got Kendrick, you got, uh, who else? <laughs> Last year, we, we had a, a good amount of people. We had Denzel Curry, we had Lil Dicky, you had uh, 21 Savage, Kodak Black, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, I don't remember if Anderson Pac was on that list. Uh, we had maybe G Herbo. Just a lot of people who others didn't know about. And I get the point of a double XL freshman cover, but I don't feel like it helps the artist enough for the artist to go want to be on that platform. Especially when you have other artists that have done great without it. People like Drake, Tory Lanez, Post Malone, uh, all have skyrocketed with their careers and not needed the feature from the Double XL Freshman cover. I don't feel like it helps them as much as it portrays or as much as fans think that this is a level of credibility that you need to reach in order to become a really great rapper. I don't think it benefits the rappers of this day and age to take the Double XL Freshman cover on. Uh, because I've stopped taking it seriously. And when you think about it like that, the more people who stop taking it seriously, the less benefit it actually has for the rapper or the artist because that's less fans and less clout the artist is gonna get at the end of the day uh, when you compare it to, oh, well just make good music on your own and hopefully people notice you. Uh, I think it would be better for you to be featured on maybe Complex or maybe Hot New Hip Hop as opposed to the Double XL Freshman cover. There's plenty of people that have done great without it. Reaching towards the people who have done great and who have been freshmen, like Chance the Rapper, Got Logic, Lupe Fiasco, Kendrick, uh, Kit Cudi, uh, Big Sean, all have huge fan bases that I don't credit any of those fan bases to the freshman cover. Well, I think one of the bigger conflicts I'm speaking to here is if the Double XL Freshman cover is even needed at this point. When I picture people like Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert, 21 Savage, Kodak Black, who all have really sizable fan bases even without the feature from the Double XL Freshman cover, it has me wondering if they ever needed the feature to begin with. I mean, majority of the time when people listen to these artists, they listen to them because they deliver some vibe or some feeling on their own. Uh, when I listen to these artists, I'm not looking for, oh, well, were they a double XL freshman? Because no one, in my opinion, views that as a credible source of a good, or a good rapper. You know, that doesn't view, uh, that doesn't go for talent, in my opinion. That doesn't mean because you were featured on double XL that you're now a good rapper. You're a featured talent because all the people that we had on the double XL freshman cover last year were ridiculous. And this year, it's almost as bad. But let's focus on the topic at hand for right now. I'll get to the list a little bit later in the video. So let's talk about this. Uh, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi, 21 Savage, Kodak Black, all freshmen from last year. Did their fan base from what anyone else knows substantially increase from the feature? Uh, did it do anything for them as far as adding credibility? other than make the fans that they already had go to the Double XL freshman video and watch their freestyle. Uh, designer even include, I think Designer is a freshman. Would that video have gotten any traction without the fan base Designer had on his own? Now I'm not saying people don't go to Double XL or they don't take them seriously when it comes to new rappers, but when people saw that freestyle, the Timmy 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 Turner, they didn't go to that video because Double XL was like, oh man, Double XL, they're the new talents or something like that. They went to the video because Designer had a poppin' video. He spat a freestyle, and, and Designer already at, the, at that time had, you know, developed traction for his own career. How does it help you to be a freshman anymore? What does it do? As I said in the beginning, we've got really sizable rappers with rip pa pause. We've got <laughs> we got rappers with really sizable fan bases that have never been freshmen. Even Nicki Minaj never been a freshman. Like I said, Drake, uh, and some other people, uh, Tory Lanez, like I said, these are people who never 
were on the cover, but look at their careers. They're making moves, they're making waves. Hell, by the time Kendrick Lamar had become a freshman, he was basically a senior. He was in the game for about six or seven years prior to even being on the freshman cover. Who, who he didn't need it? Out of last year's double XL freshman list, I would probably say the best ones were Denzel Curry, Davies, uh, I think G Herbo was a part of that, and uh, Anderson Pac. I don't know too much about Lil Dicky, so I can't really say. I can't say if he's bad or good. I don't even think I've ever heard a song from the guy, so I can't give my opinion on him. But everyone else, if I was a hip hop head and I'm looking at Double XL for credibility when it comes to talented rappers, and those rappers, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi, uh, Kodak Black, 21 Savage, Designer, were featured on the list, I would be appalled. I would be so pissed. At this point, I'm beginning to believe they're literally clout chasing. I think for the most part, when it comes to double XL freshmen, they're looking for people who have sizable fan base so they can bring more traction to their magazine, to their website, to their company. I feel like double XL is cool. And I remember reading an article about this not too long ago where I believe the writer or the uh, the interviewer was asking Flex about uh, things that you look for, things are the, that are the requirements for a freshman. And he's basically saying, Oh, well, we look for uh, traction. We look for we look for rappers who are peaking at the right time. We look for rapper, rappers who have a, a sizable fan base. He said this. Yeah, we're looking for rappers who are interesting. What does interesting mean? What what is interesting? What does that mean? How do you know if a rapper is interesting? You are willing to put the credibility of a company like Double XL at risk because you find a rapper interesting? Is that really your reason? For those of you who don't know, Lil Durk, Rich Homie Quan, also freshmen, and they still, in my opinion, haven't grown to the size that I think is worthy of someone who's been a freshman. Basically what I'm saying here is that if you're gonna be a freshman, you might wanna reconsider. Does it do anything for your career, in my opinion, no, it helps double XL, it doesn't really help you. And anybody in this generation doesn't go to double XL for credibility on new rappers. They don't, not in, not in this generation. It seems like as of lately, if, if you're popular, you're likely to receive some form of recognition from them. You don't need the skill, you don't need the ambition or the passion, you pretty much just need the fan base. You could rap about makeup and I doubt they'd care. I say this and add to my point even further because I noticed there is a list of people that may be considered for this year we got people like Lil Pump, Lil Peep, the n what? Who are they? A Lil Pump, I know he has a, a, a hit record called uh, D-Rose, and I listen to it, and I'm like, why? Why Why is this a song? First of all, why is it a song? And second of all, why is it popular? You're a sin- I'm not gonna get into it, but- the next person, we have Ugly Guy, who's up for consideration, possibly. And I'm like, okay, I've heard of this individual, but then it hits me again. This was the dude who made the song about beating his meat, okay? And it's not even that it was funny, because MF Doom, we have him as a rapper. On his one song, I believe it was Cookies, he had a song about beating his meat. But it was done in such a, a tongue-in-cheek, funny way, you couldn't even be upset with it. Then at the end, when you finally figured out, this dude's talking about masturbation. You literally looked at it like, this dude's a genius, he's a god. But ugly guy legitimately in that song is talking about just, bitch, I beat my meat, don't give up about what you think. Like, what? I hear X is up for consideration. Just a bunch of rappers who, in my opinion, haven't shown me that they are worthy of a title like that. But again, can I really be questioning the worthiness of the title when the title, admittedly from the people who make it, isn't that much to begin with they don't require that much other than really a sizable fan oh i'm sorry you gotta be interesting hell man i don't know maybe i should consider when i get to a million subscribers maybe i'll go up there i would love if new talent good talent like like jid i don't know what's going on but point in case is i don't think it's necessary i don't think it's needed anymore i think we're beyond needing the double xl freshman feature and i don't think it benefits rappers to even be a part of it i don't not at this point not at this stage in the game I don't think it would bother me as much if it didn't feel like the, the freshman cover was starting to become like the, the school thought and everybody's impressed by the guy who goes in the bathroom and gets sucked off, but that's what it's turning into for me. I don't think that it's impressive at that point. And while I do commend those artists for being featured and being big enough and being you know somewhat talented enough to be featured on the list, uh, I feel like even they probably at this point will regret it or would say maybe this wasn't the best move career-wise because it didn't really end up helping me that much. And to the people out there who are voting for their favorite artists, just keep supporting them because you don't need them to be on the freshman cover at this point, not in my opinion. 
don't think it helps and I don't really think it's a, a great thing to have on your resume. I mean, it's cool, but I don't think it's required. Does it even benefit rappers of this day and age to be a part of the cover? I really wanna know. Um, leave your comments and your thoughts down in the comment section below, obviously, where else would you leave them? I don't think it helps. I don't think it makes it better and I don't think it adds to their career in any like defining way. So let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your concerns down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them. Uh, this is just Sean C, this is my opinion. Me speaking, me speaking from, up here from the noggin. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.